pig gets stuck. This is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boot, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam and a dog called Rusty. On the farm, there are six pigs. The pigs live in a pen with a little house. The smallest pig is called Curly. It is time for breakfast. Mrs. Boot gives the pigs their breakfast, but Curly is so small he does not get any. Curly is hungry. He looks for something else to eat in the pen. Then he finds a little gap under the wire. Curly is out. He squeezes through the gap under the wire. He is out in the farmyard. He meets lots of other animals in the farmyard. Which breakfast would he like to eat? Curly wants the hen's breakfast. He thinks the hen's breakfast looks good. He squeezes through the gap in the fence. Curly tries it. The hen's food is so good he gobbles it all up. The hens are not pleased. Mrs. Boot sees Curly. Curly hears Mrs. Boot shouting at him. What are you doing in the hen run, Curly? He runs to the fence. He tries to squeeze through the gap, but he has eaten so much breakfast he is too fat. Curly is stuck. Curly pushes and pushes, but he can't move. He is stuck in the fence. They all push. Mrs. Boot, Poppy, and Sam all push Curly. He squeals and squeals. His sides hurt. Curly is out. Then with a grunt, Curly pops through the fence. He's out! He ha he's out! shouts Sam. He is safe now. Mrs. Boot picks up Curly. Poor little pig, she says, and she carries him back to the pig pen. Curly is happy. Tomorrow you shall have lots of breakfast, she says. And Curly was never, ever hungry again.